Hi, this is Jeff Zeig. Here I am in New York City where I've just completed a, a master class for some of my more advanced students and I'm bringing you another five minute tip for therapists. In this segment I want to talk about questions. I want to talk about questions in two different ways. One thing that I want to do is to talk about strategic questions, how questions can be used strategically. And another thing that I want to talk about in relationship to questions is eliminating questions and doing psychotherapy session that was not based on using questions. Well, oftentimes the questions that we commonly ask are why questions. Why does that happen and why do you have this problem? Now, those questions don't have strategic valence because they're not helping the person to move forward. What those questions are doing is they're looking more deeply into causes. Why anybody has any particular problem is very hard to determine and we can make up many different stories all of which are convincingly true about why any person has a particular problem. Bad relationship, depression, anxiety, why people have affairs, why they rely on internet pornography. Knowing why is not necessarily going to help you to determine how. So a series of strategic questions, questions that are based in how, questions that are based in what, these questions orient people towards the resources that they have for being able to accomplish something that has previously seemed difficult. How do you know that you can solve this? Suspend any objection that you have. What is it that you know about yourself that you can utilize that will help you to move forward? What are the steps that you can take? How can you enlist other people to help you? What things are existent in your environment that can be harnessed that will give you new uh, orientations, new resources for doing what it is that you need to do. So one of the things that I have practiced as a therapist development technique is using questions that have strategic valence, not only for clients, but also in the process of supervising students. Now, second part of this equation, not using questions. The grammar of change, let's think about the grammar that patients bring to us, clients bring to us. The grammar that our clients bring to us is an imperative grammar. I'm hurting, I'm limited, I can't. By implication, they're speaking in exclamation points and not necessarily asking questions. Now, traditionally, coaches and therapists have responded by asking questions. Could we respond declaratively? Could our communication match the clients and the therapist would be speaking in implied exclamation points? Yesterday, I was doing a demonstration therapy in my class. I challenged myself, could I do that session without asking asking any questions, and I couldn't. I tried, but I'm so used to asking questions, in this case strategic questions, that I lapsed a few times and asked questions. But mostly as a therapist development technique for myself, because I think that therapists should have therapist development techniques, uh, therapist development goals. As a goal for myself, I demonstrated that I could do a session using declarative sentences that would match the grammar of the client. My declarative sentences had implied exclamation points. My stories, my analogies, my metaphors, my gestures, these had implied exclamation points and the implied exclamation point was of course you can of course you can change of course you can cope adequately depending on what the situation is I challenge you as a matter of developing your own orientation, your own methodology, regardless of what theoretical constraints you may put upon yourself, can you do a session of psychotherapy in which you eliminate questions? It's a kind of lazy eye therapy. If a child has ambiopia, one eye has uh, got a weaker muscle, you cover the good eye, you take away the strength so that the person can develop the inferior function. The uh, next segment also about thinking about therapist development, what exercises you can do to develop who you are as a clinician, as a coach. This is Jeff Zeig in New York with another five minute tip for therapists.
Hi, this is Jeff Zeig. Here I am at the offices of the Milton Erickson Foundation in Phoenix, Arizona. But December 6 through 9, I'll be in San Francisco for the Brief Therapy Conference. I started the Brief Therapy Conference in 1988, I think, where we organized the first multidisciplinary conference that brought together practitioners of brief therapy to talk about state-of-the-art methods in helping people to get out of therapy as quickly as possible. There are many different schools of brief therapy, psychoanalytic schools of brief therapy, gestalt schools of brief therapy, cognitive behavioral schools of brief therapy, systemic schools of brief therapy, and the idea was to bring together practitioners from different schools. Our focus in this brief therapy conference is especially about treating disorders of anxiety, depression, and trauma. We've had some of the great experts in the world, uh, people like Bessel van der Kock talking about trauma, uh, people that are talking about how you can work with families when they are suffering from anxiety, depression, and trauma, experts on cognitive behavior therapy, solution-focused therapy. I really invite you to go to our website, brieftherapyconference.com. It's a embarrassment of riches, an incredible array of faculty who are state-of-the-art and presenting their latest methods of working with anxiety, depression, and trauma. We also have programs on uh, multicultural therapy. We have a pre-conference day if you need ethics credits, if you want to learn about some of the essentials of hypnosis. We have a post-conference day in which Michael Yapko and I will do a master class on treating, where we actually do treatment of people in the particular style that we work on and we're able to comment on each other. So we invite you December 6 through 9, uh, San Francisco Bay Area, brieftherapyconference.com. Please join us. There are significant discounts for registering early. Thank you.